Howdy folks, Kerbo here. I recently took an FS Economy flight over in Alaska in the de Havilland Beaver. I flew from Talkeetna, Papa Alpha Tango Kilo, down to Merrill in Anchorage, Papa Alpha Mike Romeo. I got off to a little bit of a rough start. I'm pretty rusty in the Beaver, but I made it and the virtual passengers weren't super happy, but they got to where they were going. doesn't like to start and there's a trick to it what was the trick I do have that on how am I today I'm all right it's pouring down rain I wanted to paint the garage but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen and let's see it's good bit more fuel pressure built up. There we go. I can't remember. It almost seems like you had to do something with the mixture, too. Alright, it's turning through. No. Didn't like that. may have to go look in the docks if this doesn't work here in a little bit. That was a good sound. There we go. This bad boy started. to head south, so we might as well head down to uh, runway 3, or uh, 1 8. So, let me break off. Let's see if I can swing this bad boy around. Is that a wind calm, but you never know with x -Plane. Explains a great flight simulator, but it's not a great ground taxi simulator. It's a little airport map, it's uh, another plugin, I don't remember what it's called. I have a command set up in chat. Um, I can't remember what it's called actually. It might be exclamation XP or exclamation X plane. Something like that will give you a link to the the list of the bunch of add-ons I use, which are pretty much all free. So I'm going to head out here to the taxiway, we'll taxi down to 1-8. Some breaking action going on here. I'm flying alone here, there isn't any traffic, but I'm going to hold short. Take a look around just because. Good habit. There's clouds. Clouds don't look half bad. Alright, so we're taking off. We're departing to the south. My uh, map up here. I want to intercept that uh, 156 radial. So we may have to turn back to about 120 after takeoff to pick that up. Uh, let's see, let's get uh, flaps down to takeoff. And 
And once we get in the air, if the engine is too loud, let me know. I can turn it down further. This plane doesn't have a separate volume slider for the airplane like the Carinata planes do. Okay, how are we doing on fuel? Rear tank, got tons of fuel. Temperature's not too bad. Cylinder temperature never had come up to temp for some reason. I didn't check trim. That's why you have checklists. You don't forget stuff like that. set with my flight simulator. Turned it down about halfway on OBS. Let me know how that goes. Alright, let's ease over here to about 120. Try to pick up that radial and fly it out. start getting into some of the scenery I generated which I forgot to move in the scenery file yeah I think that's some of the some of the photo uh, scenery I was generating there's a strip a strip of it there <laughs> it's 
looks kind of out of place. Yeah, I think we're actually getting into the area of the photo scenery. So we'll check that out and see if it's any good. I'm having a little trouble with Alaska. Uh, no, I haven't, Rife. That seems kind of silly. Uh, HDMI can probably go that far, but I don't know about USB. That seems like it might be a little tricky. Yeah, not too impressed with this imagery here. Let me just turn that off. And then some of it's snow, some of it's summer. So it looks pretty goofy. Let's see how it looks when we get closer to Anchorage. I think we're tracking that pretty good. I'm going to nose it over just a hair. A road. Okay, I think I know where I'm at on the map. So if I pull the map over here. I think Pan Lake is what we just flew past. It looks like that's a horseshoe-shaped lake with a road going by it. It's a little hard to make out, but... kind of a horseshoe shape you can see in the symbols road and railroad going right by it so I think we're I think we just flew over that so there's big lake and then there's this great big arm here that'll be impossible to miss where'd the passengers go oh no be cool if it actually model passengers. How do we get eight people in here? Oh, I think you can you pick different interiors. It's the view control. That's yeah, passengers and cargo. Huh. Uh, FS Economy says you can carry eight people. You must have a different seat configuration than this actual model plane does. So unless you're sitting on laps, there's only three, four, five, six. The plane they're modeling off of must have seats in the back. Unless there's jump seats in the back. Let's take a look. Oops. View. Dude. Passenger. That's not going to work. Unless I turn off X camera for a bit. There we go. Yeah, there must be two people riding back there. Poor bastards. Hey, look. Now we're a passenger. Hey, Brandon. What's up, dude? Somebody's got to fly this thing. Better get back up here. And we'll turn the next camera back on. Doink. Cool. So right over there in the fog is Anchorage. We're almost there. Merrill Field is actually right in Anchorage. Right between two other airports. Slowed on down here. Wee! This beaver is a little squirrely. I remember to put down my landing gear too. So that's that's the big airport. I'm not sure what it is, but that's the one we don't want. I 
There's the one we want right over there. 99% sure. And then up there is the big Anchorage International. Yep. We want the one in the middle. Alright, we need to start getting slowed down here. So let's bring that back. Throw this forward. Get our landing gear down. Start getting some flaps in. Somehow I end up turning like 15 degrees without realizing it. Alright, I gotta get my feet back on the pedals. Let's get our rotor trim taken back out. That's why I like switches on my desk, I can click. <laughs> Alright, we're a little high. It's okay. It's trimmed out for about 70 knots. This thing's kind of squirrely. I haven't flown it enough to be a master of it for sure. I shall do my best. I'll be looking on the Vassy. We're looking about right as far as glide slope goes. We are landing at the right airport. That much I know. A little high again. Brace for impact. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do I have gear down? I think I might have a little bit of a wind. Is that a wind calm? But I like how they got these nice tall buildings right there in the approach path. Alright, we're still high. Wave to the people in the buildings. Jeez. <laughs> if those building heights are correct, that's pretty close. Oh, I forgot how much this thing likes to uh, not pull up. Crap. That was a terrible landing. That was terrible. I forgot how bulky this plane is. It takes a long time to flare. That was totally my bad. Alright, let's keep a little throttle in it so it doesn't die. That was awful. 494 feet per minute. Ouch. Well, oh, needs some more practice, that's for sure. Anybody survived? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, parking brake on so we don't go anywhere. Let's get our landing light off. Killer radios. If you pull the throttle back to idle, it'll almost die on its own. It doesn't even have enough RPM to work the alternator. Alright, let's get it all shut down.
Oh, I guess you have to turn it that way to turn it off. Put the flat panel back in the right position. It's kind of weird. You have to like pump. You have to pump the flaps down. So it simulates that. Anywho. In theory, if we're at the right airport, I just made some money on FS Economy. So let's go check. FS Economy, bring that up. See if that's big enough. Everybody can see. Alright, so if we go to my flight, it's now empty, which is a good sign. And payment logs, yay! Made some money. Cool, so that flight paid 5600 and it's got the, uh, the rental cost out of that. A little bit of fuel, ground crew fees, a booking fee. I haven't seen that before. It's interesting. It must be something unique to this airport. So ended up with uh, about 4400 bucks. Virtual bucks. So there we go.